Anyways, we're here, boys. What's up, guys? We have some pretty big signings that we're going to announce. You'll see it, actually, when they go live. A couple small creators, mid-sized creators, and large creators. Should be a pretty, pretty cool thing. I'm sure you guys will uh, enjoy it tomorrow. I'll be co-streaming with them during the uh, Super Bowl and uh, having a good little time. Should be pretty big. You know, I saw some comments on Twitter maybe like a week, two weeks ago. People were saying, oh, you know, are you really considering going? Blah, blah, blah. And these were to, uh, you know, creators that I love and respect and are good and let's just say that if they're shook by those conversations which i'm confident ultimately will get them over then they should be pretty shook by tomorrow's little announcement should be a good time tomorrow arsenal's financially me too bro i'm gonna keep it a buck it feels like every sports are just rigged no bullshit bro i'm gonna keep it a buck if you look at the uh premier league standings i know this shit's like so delusional and conspiracy theory and shit but in the last three weeks of games there is like a hundred ways the games could have gone that are most likely based on the skill levels of the teams and there is only like one way that it could have gone for the most dramatic excitement possible and it had to be like six different teams losing and then tying the following week for the points to all add up just so like the top four leaders on the Premier League board are within a game of each other and then the Arsenal versus Man City game are within a game of each other. Do people not understand like the chances of that happening are less likely than the chances of one week all the favorite teams to lose. It's just gotta be. It's got to be. It's got, like, every sport, bro, it's like this. Every sport. What are the chances, bro? Like, Arsenal lose, Man United lose, Man City lose, right? Then the following week, Arsenal ties. How are we, like, and then Man City's probably gonna win, right? To make it three points. It's just like, oh my god, bro, that's it's crazy, bro. There's no f shot. Your stance on the UFO is getting shot down? Wait, what? Is that what that was? I prayed to God that wasn't the case. I'll keep it a buck fifty, bro. There, no, nah, there's no shot, bro. Nah, 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 no shot. Not actual UFOs, just like balloons. Again, the balloon thing happened again. And you shave, you are ugly. Ah, f it. Better me being ugly than good looking and having half of you guys hate me for no reason. If the balloon thing happened again, bro, that shit's shady as. F like, it, I would say they're preparing for like targeted attacks. Whoever's setting those balloons, you know what I'm saying? That's literally where I'd be at. If there were balloons again, it's not balloons. Bro, I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. There's no, like, bro. First of all, we're f either way. You people that are saying UFOs, I have to look at this shit too. What the f good? But let's just break it down and give each of your takes the benefit of the doubt for a moment, okay? If it's UFOs, we're f I want you to understand that. Those of you thinking like, oh, UFOs exist, so we shot them down. F yeah, like, no, 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 no. If UFOs entered our airspace and, and had the technology to enter our airspace from distant planets, thousands of light years away, and we shot them the f down, do you understand? We're f dead. Do you understand that? We're all dead. You understand me, right? So I wouldn't think that's so cool that we're shooting down in unidentified objects that are coming from extraterrestrial origins, okay? We're f If that ever happens and they come into our airspace, we better start praying and start sucking their f***ing UFO alien f***s, okay? Because if they're that far ahead of us, technology, and we're shooting them down, we're f okay? That's one. Two, let's, let's assume they're balloons. I don't know what the f***. You know, that's some crazy shit, bro. Balloons? That can't be a coincidence, but that's some f up right there. There is no shot. UFOs. Yeah, I know UFO is unidentified flying object, and it doesn't necessarily have to do with extraterrestrials or aliens. It just means an object that is unidentified that is in the air. I understand what UFO actually means. We just automatically assume aliens when we hear UFO, right? I fully understand. But like realistically, the only time anyone's gonna call it a UFO is if it's like a classified project of technology that we're not supposed to know that we have, and it's in the air, so they say UFO. But in reality, they know what the f it is. You know what I'm saying? So let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's keep it a buck fifty. If that just was actually an unidentified object and the government had no idea what the f it was, believe me, those motherfuckers would do some goddamn triangular formation, Poseidon an arrow to the fing sky, bring it down safely to steal the technology themselves. They wouldn't destroy the mother. Okay? Only way they're gonna destroy mother is if they already know what the f it is, but they don't want us to know what the f it is. You understand me? Realistically, that's why I assume UFO is either alien or it's bullshit. Because the, 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 nah. Ain't the case, okay? Ain't the case. America puts like in everything we have into fing military, okay? No shot any other country has some UFO ass mother we can't identify, okay? No shot. You understand me? Sheesh. American governments put more into military than the top socialists have put into socialism. And that's that's not a good comparison because you, 
You could literally put a dollar into the military and be do more than the socials I put into socialism. So never mind, that's a bad example. Yeah, never mind. I mean, like, here's my question, okay? Have you guys ever thought about this? The socialist leaders who preach distributive wealth, none of them actually distribute their wealth. They preach it and think that's enough. And then they get their viewers to distribute the wealth. Now we've landed into a paradoxical, like, situation. Maybe even conundrum is the better word. Because distributive wealth is supposed to be from the rich, distributed down, you know, uh, 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 you know, trickle down economics, whatever the f it's called, you know, distributed down to the uh, uh, lower social classes, whatever the f it's called, right? But if the viewers who are in the lower social classes and lower uh, money-making classes are the ones distributing their wealth, they're just distributing their wealth. And re re think about it. Think about it. Think about it. If rich me preaches, oh, guys, <laughs> the distributive wealth is the way to go. Y'all need to distribute your wealth, you know, to me, and I'll distribute it back to you. My point is this, okay? That was more of a skit joke. Preaching of it isn't enough, right? The action has to follow on a small scale relative to each person that believes in that stuff's community, you know, in proportion to the size of, you know, what America would be or, you know, to, to our community proportionally, the numbers can match, right? So like, in my opinion, if you believe in it, you should apply it in some sort of system, right? For me, I'm a capitalist. You know, I'm not some socialist screaming the top of my lungs. I'm a capitalist, but I still believe in certain socialist values. So I implement them in the mental health care program, right? I implement them in other ways. But in my opinion, like the preaching of it isn't enough because the preaching of it gains more than it does positive when spreading the awareness quote unquote right so it's like realistically when when the viewers are the only ones spreading the wealth when you think about it like it's a net even it's even nothing's actually happening you understand i can't explain it you either get it or you don't get it that simple i'm just here to say bring my podcast yeah i really want to man i just like i need to be passionate about that thing i'll bring it back one week and then Look up UFO shot down over Alaska. UFO shot down over Alaska. Oh my God, 43 minutes ago. Oh my, God. how do we get footage of this? Do we got images of this mother or what boys? We got some images of this thing? Oh, I holy shit guys, I found the image. I found the cylindrical object that was shot down. Oh my God. Guys, take a look at this. Oh my God, my God. It has a f***ing face. Yeah, this is, this is breaking news. This is insane. Wow, wow, wow. What is that beard? Yeah, I wouldn't call it a beard. Maybe we just call it a beer. Let's call it a beer for now until it grows in. What do you guys think? We'll call it a beer and then we'll evolve it to a beard once we can actually connect this bad boy up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really too sure what the is going on here myself. You know, it's definitely a failed attempt at a beard, but I've never actually pushed past this phase. I've never even been here before. So we're going to see if maybe I leave it on long enough. I can get this to connect all the way and then maybe we can do some God of War type ish. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe it never happens and I just get who knows? I'm one pair of clippers away from it being gone. So I might just leave it up. I don't really leave my house. I'm a streamer. So I don't think it's too big of a deal for me to try. I'm definitely open for attack by a lot of people. But let's be real. Most of what I, you know, the shit that I talk, I'm open for attack in that direction as well. So realistically, I don't think a beard uh, opens me up to too much of a vulnerability, you know. But then again, you know, I don't know. I'm not perfect. I do make a lot of mistakes. So maybe this beard is also one of them. I don't know. I haven't really figured it out yet. But I mean, I'm, I'm kind of liking it, you know? I'm past the pubic hair stage. I know it's hard to see, but I'm actually past the pubic hair stage. I would say I was in the pubic hair stage for the last six weeks or, or shorter, last two weeks, three weeks. Right now, it's actually feeling like normal hair again. So we just got to see what the really is happening here and then once we do that i think we're fucking golden why no mustache i mean brother i'm trying to do the mustache this mother ain't coming in oh crazy huh yeah i know you know if i ever go to a uh twitter war with anybody that's definitely gonna be used and i will get ratioed the f out of with that picture holy ish oh my god that's literally an automatic loss you feel me on that just having that on video right there and someone screenshotting that that's an automatic loss if i go to war with anybody you know what i'm saying oh that's an l